In this video, we'll introduce you to all the guilds participating in the Siege the Day event. These are the elite groups that have not only dominated their respective games, but are also aiming to leave a lasting mark on Throne and Liberty. Let's dive into who these guilds are, their backgrounds, and what they bring to the battlefield. First up, we have Ethereum. Known for their dominance in the closed beta, this guild has a reputation for being one of the most battle-hardened groups around. With over 100 Korean-tested players, Ethereum has built a foundation on proven builds and high-level gameplay. Their focus is strictly on gaming and competing at the highest level. If you're looking for veteran guidance or a competitive atmosphere, Ethereum is the guild to watch in the Siege the Day event. Syn, or Synergy, is the top option for any EU player looking to make waves in Throne of Liberty. Established at the start of 2024, Sin quickly rose to hold the Rank 1, Rank 2, and Rank 10 positions simultaneously on the main English-speaking server. They captured multiple castles and are responsible for the downfall of major alliances in the Korean version of the game. With over 500 PvP wars under their belt and world-first kills on unreleased archbosses like Cordy and Leviathan, Sin's resume speaks for itself. They're a guild that thrives on large-scale PvP battles, and their experience makes them a serious contender in this event. Next, we have Focus, a guild that's built to last, with over 600 members, including 300 dedicated whales ready to go all in. Focus has been a strong force in every game they've played. Established in 2002, they've cultivated a welcoming yet competitive environment, supported by a robust infrastructure and a chain of command. What makes Focus stand out is their ability to balance hardcore gaming with a family-oriented atmosphere. For Siege of the Day, they'll be aiming for top ranks, and their experience will certainly give them an edge in the battle for castles. Royal Vanguard is not only a competitive guild, but also one with a solid track record across multiple MMOs. From ranking number one in Tower of Fantasy to achieving the top spots in games like Lost Ark and Final Fantasy XIV, this guild has consistently proven their ability to rise to the challenge. Royal Vanguard finished as the Rank 2 guild in the closed beta for Throne and Liberty and were the first to win a siege in the second beta test. Their goal for Siege of the Day? To dominate the castle sieges and guild v guild content. They're bringing all players along for the ride, ready to leave their mark. With over 2,500 members, Eclipse is a thriving community that's no stranger to MMO dominance. This guild has experience in games like New World, World of Warcraft, and Black Desert Online. They've already conquered Throne and Liberty's tech tests and closed beta, capturing castles and gearing up for global launch. Eclipse stands out for its versatility. Whether you're into massive PvP sieges or castle gaming, there's a place for everyone. They're aiming to be the top-ranked guild in Throne and Liberty, and with their highly organized structure, Eclipse is a formidable force in this event. Now we have Elysian, the Rank 1 guild from the closed beta. Founded in 2020, they've been a dominant force in MMOs ever since taking control of servers in games like New World and Lost Ark. Elysian is a hardcore NA West guild with their sights set on dominating Throne in Liberty. They're determined to take and keep the castle without the need for multiple guilds. And with their history of success, they're definitely one to watch during the Siege the Day event. Lunar Inn is a chill, PvX-focused guild that aims to combine casual and semi-hardcore players in a fun, competitive environment. Starting during the September 2023 NAEU technical test, Lunar Inn is open to both PC and console players. With no deadlines or performance reviews, they emphasize a relaxed approach to progression, while still keeping PvP and raiding in mind. Originating from Arcage EU, Reborn is a PvP-focused guild that prides itself on being a small but formidable force. While they were forced to expand in Arcage due to the necessity of numbers in a zerging environment, they hope that Throne and Liberty will allow them to maintain their tight-knit size while staying competitive. Group PvP, whether organized or spontaneous, is their passion, and they consider it the true endgame. Excelsior is a highly competitive and experienced guild that's made waves across various betas and regions. They dominated the NA East server during open beta, finishing as the top guild across all metrics and winning their wars. Their success carried into the closed beta, where they stood as part of the second strongest alliance and captured a castle during their first siege. Excelsior's PvP experience doesn't stop there. They've already tasted victory in Korea, where their alliance successfully attacked and defended the first castle. As a top contender at launch, Excelsior aims to maintain their reputation, making them a strong force to be reckoned with. 
Founded in 2021, Nix brings together seasoned MMO players with a shared competitive mindset. Known for their achievements in Elyon and Lost Ark, they quickly established themselves as a top-tier PvP guild. Nix reached the Rank 1 guild on their Europe server and owned the first castle, proving their mettle in Throne in Liberty. They boast a strong, experienced core and offer a healthy guild environment with extensive guides and experienced PvP shot callers. Just Play is set to defend in the upcoming Castle Sieges. Known for their focus on intense PvP action, they are determined to challenge the strongest opponents on the server. With a strong emphasis on large-scale warfare and distributing loot fairly using a DKP system, Just Play ensures that their members are always engaged in the heat of battle. Wo is a fully organized small-scale French guild that's taking part in large-scale PvP for Castle Sieges. With a history of dominance in Guild Wars 2 and New World, Wo is known for their precision and teamwork. While small in size, their strategy and coordination make them formidable attackers, and they pride themselves on their ability to stand out in organized PvP. Quintessence is a hardcore PvX guild with a strong focus on large-scale PvP battles. Originating from New World, they value communication, synergy, and activity within their guild structure. Known for their highly organized approach, Quintessence offers a robust infrastructure with custom tools and guides, ensuring their members are well prepared for every event. While they expect high attendance and dedication, they also understand the demands of modern life, balancing gameplay expectations with real-world responsibilities. Hand of Unity is a long-standing guild that has been preparing for Throne and Liberty since early 2023, with experienced leadership from a variety of MMOs including Arcage, New World, and Aeon, they offer a competitive atmosphere for those seeking to excel in PvP. The guild boasts a custom DKP system for fair loot distribution and a roster of skilled, dedicated players. They're focused on high-level PvP activities such as Rift and Boonstone participation, sieges, and dynamic events. Hand of Unity's extensive Korean MMO experience gives them an edge, making them one of the guilds to watch in this event. Led by Throne in Liberty's content creator, Dana TV, Pirate Gaming is a guild known for its community-driven focus and involvement in large-scale PvP battles. With roots in New World, Pirate Gaming brings a wealth of strategic experience to Throne in Liberty. Dana TV frequently showcases their epic PvP battles and guild tactics through his content and is also one of the captains featured in my Meet the Streamers video. Pirate Gaming is expected to be a formidable force in the upcoming Castle Sieges. Key, or Killer Instinct, started from Echo of Soul in 2016. They have forged their legacy across MMOs like Revelation Online, Swords of Legends Online, and Lost Ark. This European-based guild focuses on PvX gameplay, aiming to crush content efficiently with a competitive edge. Key is an inclusive of all playstyles and brings a drama-free, friendly atmosphere to its members. With a structured loot distribution system and plans for future MMOs like Blue Protocol and Chrono Odyssey, Key is ready to make a significant impact. Sovereign is a hardcore English-speaking PvX guild with a strong focus on being number one. The guild aims to create a roster of competitive players with the expectation of full-time commitment during the game's release. Members of Sovereign are expected to be mature, respectful, and fully engaged in guild activities, from top-tier dungeon runs to organized sieges. With a leadership team seasoned in Throne to Liberty's Korean version and a focus on strict rules, including mandatory Discord uses and participation, Sovereign is a perfect fit for those looking to grind hard and rise to the top. Zakan is a Polish hardcore PvP guild with a focus on activity and competition. They offer a well-organized system for hardcore players, including PvP gameplay analysis, coaching, and a clear DKP loot system. Zakan is determined to break the stereotype of Polish guilds by assembling a professional roster to dominate the PvP scene. For less committed players, Zakan also runs a semi-hardcore section. With strong leadership that has honed its skills on the Korean servers, Zakan is aiming for PvP dominance while fostering a close-knit team atmosphere. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any information online about two guilds, Moonrise and Sanguinis, but they still deserve the shout-out and I wish them luck in Siege the Day. In conclusion, this video provided an overview of some of the top guilds participating in Siege the Day for Throne in Liberty. We explored a variety of groups from those offering strong communities with a blend of PvE and PvP, to others focused on high-level competition and world domination. We also covered guilds with experienced leadership, 
custom systems for loot distribution, and hardcore PvP approaches, all while catering to different playstyles, from casual players to those seeking an intense, competitive atmosphere. Comment below who you think will win the different events in Siege of the Day. Stay tuned for more updates for Throne and Liberty, and be sure to like and subscribe for future content.